Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy. This video is the second episode of the separation axioms of the topological space and today we'll talk about the T1 space or the Frechet space. This space is more stronger than T0 or the Kolmogorov space. So the topological space is said to be T1 if any two distinct point in a topological space X so there must exist open sets such that it contains one point but not the other. So here we have two distinct points AP in a topological space where U contains the point A and V contains the point B but A does not in the set V and B does not contain in a set U. As it is one of the cases that were discussed when talking about the T node space so this thing implies that every t1 space is a t0 space but what about the converse of this statement that is every t0 space is a t1 space or not so the answer is no that every t0 space cannot be a t1 space because we have a counter example and that counter example of a serpinski space that was also discussed when talking about the t0 space and that was so here what we have we have a uh, Sierpinski space that contains a b and topology contains every set the set a and the set x so we only have one open set that contains a and the other open set that contains both a b so in this every open set which contains b also contains a because we have only the set x open set here that contains B and A both at the same time. So the condition for the T1 space that there must be open sets if A belongs to U and B belongs to another set V then A does not belong to V and B does not belong to U. So this is the condition of the T1 space and this condition would not fulfill here. So this is the counter example of the that every T0 space cannot be a T1 space. Now moving toward the example of the T1 space. So the very first example of the T1 space is the discrete space. That every discrete space is a T1 space. And now we'll check it by taking a finite topological space. So now we have the topological space X contains only two points AB. And the topology of that discrete space because discrete space contains all of the possible subsets. So there are the possible subset of the point a b now we have to check that every discrete space is a t1 space or not so there must be two open sets that contains one of the point but not the other so here this open set a and the open set b are the two open sets that contains one of the point but not the other and we can visualize it as where a does not belong to V but in U and B does not belong to U but in V. So this is the condition of the T1 space and we can expand this if we take A, B, C, three elements in the topological space and the topology expands. Then because this is the smallest case that we discussed here and whenever the topology expands by increasing the elements in the topological space then at least we have two open sets that contain one of the point but not the other will fulfill in the expanding topological space. So this is the first example of the T1 space and the other example of T1 space is the real line with the usual topology is also a T1 space. So if we have a real line R and we chose two distinct points AB on the real line where we can say that the distance between the two points must be some real number so we can represent it by r here so now we need to open sets that contains the point a and b but the set that contains a does not contain the point b and the set that contains b does not contain the point a so if we draw the open balls of the radius because this is r and if we have the open ball of r by 2 radius centered at that point then we have an open set that contains the point a but not contains the point b 
and if we draw another open ball that's centered at b and of the radius r by 2 then we have an open set that contains b but does not contain a so these are the required open sets to fulfill the condition of the t1 space now summarizing the definition of the t1 space a space a topological space is said to be a T1 space if it satisfies the T1 axiom. And what is a T1 axiom? Is that for any two distinct points A, B of the topological space X, there must exist open sets U and V such that where A belongs to U, B belongs to V, and A does not belong to V, and B does not belong to U. And U, V can intersect each other, but but this condition must be fulfilled. So this is for now, we're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye.